Well, well, well. Verizon 5G Ultra Wideband turned on at the SMT HQ. A momentous day. I, I finally got around to doing the testing. It's been on for a few days. Um, this might be day number three. So I decided to do some testing for you guys. This is afternoon testing for about two, three o'clock in the afternoon. And 5G Ultra Wideband. Here we go, guys. They they upgraded the site. For the most part, it was literally just an add-on. They added N77 C-band. They put up that antenna radio combination. It is Samsung gear. Uh, we're going to be testing on the iPhone 13 Pro. Pretty much the same situation and parameters that I did with the T-Mobile testing when they upgraded N41 on the 5G UC. So T-Mobile did that upgrade. Took them about a week, and they were live in about another week. All right, so a two weeks type of time frame for that upgrade. Verizon was pretty much the same thing. They did the upgrade in like three days, and then it was live about a week later. So their upgrade was actually a little bit faster, but their upgrade was a little bit more, uh, was a little simpler. They only added the C-band. They didn't do much else. The AT&T, uh, the T-Mobile build was complete removal of all the old Sprint stuff and then put all that new T-Mobile gear. So it was much more involved. So my expectations were a little different. And then AT&T just upgraded theirs, uh, their N77 C-band. Uh, it's not live yet, uh, but I will be testing that soon. So this is the big whammy, 60 megahertz bandwidth, 5G ultra wideband C-band, N77. It's on and it's great. All right, so we're going to start first on the upper floor, the upper level of the SMTHQ. You will see on the connection log here on the iPhone, it does indeed say Verizon. We have an RSRP. This is a measure of signal strength of minus 99. All right, so in terms of the distance from the site, we're about a mile away. And, uh, you know, that, that that's, a, that's a fair RSRP. This is 3.7 gigahertz. It's a upper mid-band, I suppose. It's being anchored by band 13. Uh, they have 10 by 10 megahertz uh, national, just so you guys know. Uh, let's see here. Anything else important? Yeah, you'll see that the frequency is much lower. <laughs> band 13 is 700 megahertz. You can, see, you can see how big of a difference the RSRP is. Anyways, uh, this one here is probably band 2, I'm assuming, which they have 5 megahertz. Just so now you guys know the bandwidth and uh, you know how much spectrum is there. Okay, so how did it do on that upper level? Pretty good. We have 371 megabits per second on the downlink, 27.7 megabits on the uplink with a 35 ping and a 3 jitter. We'll see if that ping and jitter improves over time, being that the site just got turned on. Uh, but I'm pleased with the downlink and the uplink. Middle of the day, that's pretty good. It's not the best, but we're inside. A lot of people say that this stuff doesn't work indoors. Well, here you go. <laughs> At least up in the upper level, it works indoors. Let's move to the main level. All right. So here's Verizon, right? Here is the 60 megahertz of N77. Okay. Uh, we have an RSRP of 103. So by going from the upper level down to the main level, uh, you are seeing a, a small reduction in the signal strength. It's not too bad. Uh, you know, losing four RSRP value is... Not that big of a deal, but you will see that the band did change for the LTE side. You'll see that instead of band 13, it switched to band 5. Uh, but just so you guys know, this, but the bandwidth is the same. It's a 10 megahertz of band 5. Uh, they DSS it, actually. So it's on LTE and 5G. All right, so how did it do there? All right, you will see there was a little degradation of speed. All right, now the quality of the signal is still pretty good, right? We got 298 on the downlink, 17.1 on the uplink, 40 on the ping, 6 on the jitter. So overall, just by going from the upper level to the main level, you are going to lose a little mustard. That's still pretty respectable. That's from the couch, you know what I mean? So that's awesome. Uh, you will see there was some time that lapsed between the testing here. My bad, a package came, I got a call, but, um, you know, that, that's that. All right, let's move along here. Here is the front of the home. Verizon. All right. We have a, um, I don't know if this was like a hang up possibly with the modem guys. I really hope the next generation of 5g modems is better. Uh, I'm not a big fan of what's going on right now. I don't care if it's the galaxy, the iPhone or the Google pixel. I don't care. 
they're all deficient in a lot of different ways. I think that maybe the modem hung up or whatever. I airplane moded it. I, I reset it. I closed out the apps. I even restarted the freaking phone. All right. Anyways, this is what I got for you here. Okay. 103 RSRP. Um, we're in the front of the house. There's no way it was that high. It, should, it was probably low 90s. All right. Uh, probably. And the reason I say that is because here are the speeds we got in the front of the house. 491 down. 9.8 on the up, 34 ping, 3 jitter. Now, I ran another test, and I accidentally deleted the freaking photo. I, I was supposed to delete this one and keep the other one. Uh, the uplink was actually approaching between 45 and 50 megabits. So I'll do some more testing at a later time, I'm sure. But that's what that's what it was. Anyways, moving to the back of the home, all right? Verizon, like I said, guys, I tried to reset the phone. I tried to power it down. It was just hanging. I'm still getting the same RSRP. Now it's connecting to band 66. I don't know what it's what it's doing. All right. So anyways, speeds in the back, pretty good. 417 down, 21.4 up, 35 on the ping, and then four on the jitter. It's pretty fast, right, guys? I mean, this is pretty nice for it just being turned on. I'm very happy. Now the ultimate test, the moment you've all been waiting for, does it work in the lower level? Can it possibly work in a basement? When you're talking about like the building materials of a home, the basement, you're you're low, you're underground. There's no way it could work, right? 3.7 gigahertz, no way it's going to work in the lower level. Au contraire, mon frere, it absolutely did connect in the lower level. All right, so connected to Verizon there. And uh, let me see if I can actually move this in so you guys could see 5G ultra wideband. All right, you will see that it is connecting to that 10 megahertz of band 5. That's the low band, 850 megahertz. And you will see that we are getting a minus 115 cell RSRP. It is picking up in the basement in the lower level. So for people saying it doesn't work indoors and you need line of sight, I have no idea what you people are talking about. <laughs> or you don't know what you're talking about. Here we are in the lower level. All right, and um, it, it did indeed connect, okay? Band 13 uh, also connected here on the connection log. I'm not sure why. It, it can't do both at the same time. I don't know. Unless it's doing this as a 5G band and then these as LT bands. I have no idea. Here's your speed test from the lower level. 227 down, 14.2 on the up, 40 millisecond ping, and then an 8 millisecond jitter. Guys, there you have it. They just turned it on. I am extremely satisfied with this initial launch or the initial deployment of this tower site. I think this is a tremendous place to kind of start with this connection. I think it should improve over time. We'll see if that's the case. We're also going to be seeing more and more people connecting to it, upgrading 5G devices. We'll see if the speeds hold up, right? 60 megahertz N77. Guys, this is really good. Lower level, we're hardly seeing any degradation of performance. This is not that different compared to the main level testing. All right, the main level, it was approaching 300. Here we're at 227. You know, in the main level, what were we getting for uplink? Uh, I'm trying to remember. 17? We're getting 14 in the lower level. You know what I mean? So I'm extremely satisfied with the initial, um, you know, the, the initial performance. We'll see if it improves over time. You guys did watch my T-Mobile N41 testing. I don't know. Let's compare it, right? They're both about the same distance from the cell site. Both have sectors facing my home. Here's where we are. Make your evaluation if you guys watch that video. And in fact, I'll try to remember to put that link in the description so you guys can compare. And we're waiting for N77 from AT&T. That'll be turning on. That's on the same site as T-Mobile. But guys, this is no joke. N77 is legitimate. I know, you know, there was a lot of a lot of hearsay about this this band. Oh, it's too high of a frequency. It won't work indoors. That is absolute nonsense. You need line of sight. That is absolute nonsense. Don't feed into the misinformation. That is completely false. I don't know what narrative they're trying to spin. That is definitely not the case. I'll be doing some live testing at a later time. And in fact, I will be testing all three once they're all live. And I'll be doing just video footage and, and, I'll, and I'll make sure to do that for you guys here. All right. So you guys tell me what impressed you. What did you think was a letdown? What do you think uh, is going to happen over time? You think it'll get better? You think it'll get worse? I'd love to see what you guys have to say. Comment down below. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. 
Like, share, subscribe for more. Turn on that bell notification icon to never miss an upload. Links in the description for my Patreon page if you want to support us and get early access to content and exclusive videos not found anywhere else. There's also a link for my Twitter handle and all business inquiries can go to the Gmail address in the description. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.